Hi, I want to show you how to investigate whether your model that you've chosen fits your data. So again, assume that we're investigating the effect of property rights institutions on GDP per capita. First, we could choose to just look at this simple scatter plot with between two variables. Let's look at that. We see that at least there is a, co a positive correlation between property rights institutions as GDP per capita as, as we would expect. Another way to look at it um, is to do our regression analysis with the control variables that we prefer. For instance, absolute uh, latitude and, and the share of Protestants. And to investigate whether this model is, is really the uh, the true model, we, we can we can do the analysis um, the, the analysis of the residuals graphically. We use the uh, added variables plot. Which, uh, which shows the um, the property rights institution, the correlation between property rights institutions and GDP per capita, controlling for absolute latitude and Protestants. We see that there are actually, so what we're worry, worried about here is whether there are some specific countries that actually drive this correlation that we find here. We see that there are three countries that seem uh, to be driving some of it. So let's see what these countries are. we we'll put a label on them. Let's the three-letter code here. And we see these uh, countries are Qatar, Kuwait, and Singapore. Now, first, we want to think about whether we could have included additional control variables that could um, remove these uh, or that could get these countries down to the regression line. For instance, an oil dummy might actually do the trick for, for some of the countries here. Right now I don't have an oil dummy. Instead, I, I investigate whether my uh, the, the effect of institutions is still there if we remove these three countries. And we see that there is still a positive correlation between property rights and GDP per capita. We see that it drops though, um, 287 we have here, down from 363. So this was just to show that this added variables plot can be used to investigate the residuals in your model.